You're asked to balance a redox reaction in acidic solution. A reminder of the steps. First of all, check on which atoms are undergoing redox and write half reactions. Then balance out the half reactions by eliminating electrons between them in order to produce the overall reaction. Now, two of these species were among the examples that we looked at when we assigned oxidation numbers. Let's just remind ourselves. H3PO3, 3 times plus 1 for the, for the hydrogen, 3 times negative 2 for the oxygen, so plus 3, negative 6, phosphorus plus 3. Let's look at phosphorus in the other species. Hydrogen plus one. Four oxygens, negative eight. The charge is two minus, so the phosphorus is plus five. So the phosphorus atom is undergoing oxidation. It has lost two electrons. That will be useful when we um, go back to look at that. Now, the other atom that is undergoing some sort of redox change must be manganese. Hydrogen and oxygen don't undergo redox changes in such reactions. Here it's very easy. The manganese must be plus two because that is the charge. And here we have negative eight for the four oxygens. The manganese, therefore, must be positive five, a uh, positive seven, to make the overall charge on the permanganate ion negative one. So the manganese. has undergone reduction and has added five electrons. Now we can write down the half reactions. Let's do the reduction half reaction first. Because it's one we've already seen. We know how to get rid of oxygens in oxyions in acidic solution. We simply add the appropriate number of hydrogen ions. Four oxygens need eight hydrogens. And this reaction is balanced. Check it out. One manganese, one manganese, four oxygens, four oxygens, eight hydrogens, eight hydrogens, charge on the left, negative six, positive eight, positive two, charge on the right, positive two. Now let's balance the oxidation half reaction. We know two electrons are yielded by the phosphorus in going from H3PO3 to HPO4 2 minus. So we've generated four negative charges on the right hand side. How are we going to handle that? Well, 
The only reasonable way, since we're working in acidic solution, is to generate some positive charges, hydrogen ions, from the other possible reagent, which is H2O. And surely enough, that balances. Three hydrogens and two hydrogens is five hydrogens. One hydrogen and four hydrogens is five hydrogens. Three oxygens and one oxygen is four oxygens. On the right-hand side, four oxygens. Neutral on the left-hand side, balance charge that is, neutral on the right-hand side. Now, we need to get rid of the electrons, and this becomes cumbersome. We need to multiply five times the oxidation reaction to make two electrons times five is ten, and add to that two times the reduction half reaction. Again, eliminating the electrons. So let's do that. Five times the oxidation reaction plus twice the reduction half reaction and we'll put everything in. And on the right hand side 5 times the oxidation half reaction plus twice the reduction half reaction. And we see right away that we can do a lot of cancelling to simplify this. First of all, of course, we arranged it so that the electrons would cancel out. But now let's look at the other quantities that are involved. We have 16 H plus on the left and 20 H plus on the right. If we subtract 16 from 20, we'll be left with 4 H pluses. And we have 5 H2Os on the left and 8 H2Os on the right. If we subtract 5 H2Os, we'll be left with only 3 H2Os. So the final simplified version is 5 H3PO3 plus 2 MnO4 minus equals 5 HPO4 2 minus plus 4 H plus plus 2 MN 2 plus plus 3 H 2 O. That is the final balanced redox equation. The one you would use if you were going to titrate H3PO3 with permanganate in acidic solution to convert it to the hydrogen phosphate dianion. This is about as complicated an example of redox reaction balancing as you'll encounter, but notice it's straightforward if you first deduce the oxidation numbers. That will give you right away the number of electrons that you need to write in in each of the half reactions. Then balance the half reactions involving water, protons, hydroxide ions in base, etc. Then add the two oxidation and reduction half reactions so as to cancel the number of electrons and then finally remove excess species to slim the reaction down to the minimum required.